mounted my servo GX. Got the servo GX running. This line here goes back to the smart shunt. This one here goes to the tablet. Then what we need is a power. Positive and negative. I ran it, I ran it directly off the batteries, bypassing the switch. The theory is if I ever shut the batteries off and that's hooked up after the switch, I won't have any readings on the batteries. But the way it is right now, if I shut these off for maintenance, I can still get a reading off the batteries from the two connections here. Refuse to protect your equipment. Very simple. Over the Wi-Fi, get a reading on the batteries, charge, and also go to uh, the control panel. You can see what the batteries are doing. Same thing here. And you have the same accessibility there on the tablet. You can take the tablet out of this little holder that we built. Okay, the remote monitor, remote control monitor popped up here. You can control the features. It's at 99%, 13.2, 1 1.9 amps. It's drawing 25. Actually, it's idle right now. It's not drawing anything, which can't be because I got this light in here on. Anyway, check your parameters, see what's going on, then put it back. Very easy, there you go. All right, so let's take a closer look at the Servo GX. We've got a bag of parts here. I'll go ahead and open this up. Basically going to have a 12 volt power cord that's gonna plug in here. And uh, we've got these little black plugs. The black plugs are going to plug into these inputs along the bottom for these relays. And then we have some various sensor inputs. So basically these are going to allow our sensor wires to plug in there. And what we've got is four water tank sensors, or excuse me, tank sensors. So those can be fuel tanks, water tanks. Uh, I saw one guy had a tank of beer. <laughs> um, so whatever you want to monitor, you can do up to four tanks. And then uh, next to that, we've got four uh, temperature sensors. So you can monitor the inside temperature of your RV or van, the outside temperature, the engine bay, the refrigerator, whatever you want, up to four temperature sensors. And then we've got digital inputs. So basically, you can accept alarm signals or signals from external devices. So You'll see here with the two relays, this particular device can set off relays. You can program it to set these off under certain conditions and send signals out to external devices. But this device can also accept here at Digital Inputs, it can accept signals, uh, alarm signals and other signals from uh, external devices as well. And uh, as I mentioned, so for the relays, what you would do is uh, maybe you set it when the battery's down to 20%, you program it to set off this relay and that turns on the engine or turns on a generator. Um, you can control external devices with those relays by prog programming it to set those off under certain conditions. And then you can see here on the front, we have the indicator lights for the Bluetooth and the Wi-Fi, And that's gonna tell you uh, what those signals are doing there. And then let's flip it around and uh, look at the top. So this first input here, oh, let me show you one more thing. 
this SD card. You can have it store data with a miniature SD or micro SD, and uh, you can take that out and uh, view it on a computer or elsewhere. And uh, that actually leads to this other input here on the top. This is where you would uh, connect an Ethernet cord, and you could actually connect the Servo, uh, Servo GX directly to a computer. And then here at the bottom, these are also going to take an 8-pin uh, RJ45 connector. It's basically like the Ethernet connector there. But we have a VE bus here. So this is where our uh, shore power, our inverter charger is going to plug in so we can monitor our shore power. Uh, these two here are VE CAN. So that's a different uh, network protocol that some of the Victron devices use. And then here we have BMS CAN there at the end also another protocol. So you may not use all of these, but uh, they're available if you use a particular device from Victron that needs that type of plug, you've, you've, uh, you've got it available. But you're only gonna use a few of these. You're, you're not gonna use all of these plugs, but uh, they're available to network anything you could possibly have to this device. Now, if we come up here to these white inputs here, these are VE Direct. And we are going to use those today. So the first one is going to be our battery monitor. The second one is going to be our solar charge controller. And uh, then that last one will have a spare. The HDMI here is going to be for our GX Touch 50 screen. And uh, this first USB port is going to be the power for that screen. So the screen will actually have two little cords that will plug in there. And then we've got two spare USBs for uh, various Victron devices that use a uh, USB input. So that is the Servo GX. I should mention uh, here these terminators, they go in the VE CAN ports. So basically this uh, type of setup, the devices are daisy chained and uh, the end device you have to put in a terminator. So it basically allows the signal to go down to the end and kind of loop back. Um, so that is what those are for. You probably won't use those for most installations, but they are included with the device. The kit comes with your relay connections and your dongles for your uh, CAM buses. And rather than leave them in a bag someplace where you're going to lose them, we're going to go ahead and connect them. I'm going to connect them anywhere. No specific location, just so I know where they are. All right, got two of those there. When I need them, all I gotta do is put them in the proper location. These are the three holes for the three connectors. And these are for future connections for expansion purposes. But rather than risk losing them, I go ahead and pre install them. I can always pull them out when I have to. Now they're only going in one position, in one direction, so you can't mess it up. These are for the relays, relay number one. And with these relays, you can start the engine, fans, lights. Generator, just, just about anything. That's it. All my spare parts are no longer spare parts. Still got to clean up all these wires here, but we're on the right track. Okay, yeah, the system right now is at 99%. There's no, uh, AC power, DC is uh, 21 watts being used from the batteries. It's at 13.2 minus 1.6 amps. That's what just, whatever it's drawing off the, the motorhome as we sit. Okay, it took a little while to catch up. But as you can see, it's still at 99%, 13.1, but the current jumped up to uh, 2.6. Now it's down to 160. 
I guess the thermostat just kicked off. 21 watts, drawing 4.1 amp hours. And the days dropped down, the time remaining dropped down to four days and 21 hours. So it's doing something. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. One step at a time. And uh, it'll be easy to do. All right, guys. I think that's enough for now. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be safe. See you next time. Ciao for now.